Hi folks, Paul here. I'm just back from Maker Fair Wellington last Sunday, which went really well. It was fantastic. There were people streaming through between 10am and 4pm, and I was talking about power walls and laptop batteries for six hours straight. I was pretty knackered by the end of it, but uh, it was great fun. It was really nice to have so many people interested in... Uh, in what I was doing and I got to meet up with a few people who watch my channel so that was nice a few other power wallers came along to say hi that was cool I thought just for posterity's sake I would run through the spiel that we developed so I had a, a table just a trestle table and it was me my friend Hamish and DC Kiwi who hangs out on the Second Life forums quite a lot so i'll run through the spiel that we did in case you ever find yourself in a similar situation so we start with used second-hand discarded laptop batteries just like these and we rip them open in order to reveal the batteries inside and then we separate those in my case I, I keep them as pairs but other people separate them into symbols and then from that we test them by charging them up to see if they charge if they don't then we um, put them in the discard pile and send them back to the IT recycler then if they get through that we test them in the opus which works out what the capacity of the cell or pair of cells is sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's better and sometimes it's fantastic um, then once we've got all the good cells we group those and put them together into a brick like this thing here um, or larger like this one here and uh, we then assemble a whole string of these to make a large power wall that will run our house and that was my spiel and then quite often that would generate more questions like people would say oh what happens if uh, if the cells go bad in a pack and I explain well we'd spend an awful lot of time testing to eliminate any possible bad or weak cells so that the bad ones don't get into this pack if they do after all our testing then I've got a spare one of these that I can quickly replace and then I'll pull this apart and repair it if need be but that's not really happened to me much then some people say oh what about um, laptop batteries now that are really slim they can't have enough room for those and uh, so I talk about the pros and cons of the slim pouches and how you can if, if it's a, an e-bike battery you can assemble those into a big power wall uh, some people wanted to know about this thing here because they recognized the Arduino so I could talk about that quite happily some people were interested in small robots or uh, wearable wearable electronic LED things so I could show them things like that which is the absolute simplest three cells in the series or this thing here which is the same thing using one of these cell holders I did that for six hours solid it was um, it was quite a good event there's lots of people interested there's lots of people who are really like the fact that there is something that can be done with all these waste batteries so that was heartening I think lots of people had fun all right if you get a chance to go to a maker fair I heartily recommend it there's lots of interesting bizarre weird funny things to look at um, so go along this one apparently was so successful that we're quite likely to have another one in a year's time in Wellington so thanks for watching catch you next time cheers